Okay, so I had this problem <clears throat> where I would... Well, let me bring this over here. And I can show you. So I'm at my Apex dashboard. And I've created a profile. And I just call it test. And I just set... Basically, give me a bunch of blue. No, well, so I can have a very noticeable difference. Then I went and... I'll make another video on this. I created a virtual outlet. I'll make another video on that. I basically just said, okay, if it's any time during the day, be on. Okay. And then I went into my light and I basically said Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Fall back off. So if it loses power, turn the light off so we don't cook the tank. And then basically, if it's any time during the day, just turn the light on. And then if the temperature is more than 82 degrees, turn the light off. And then if the outlet testing is on, then run the profile test. And that profile test is what I showed you. It's just blue. And the outlet is testing. <clears throat> and it just says, be on. So, what I have is my radion is on to 100% and if I go over here to my testing and I say on my tank's gonna go like seriously blue it's crazy cool if I put it on auto it would always be on and if I turn it off I get my light back now it doesn't update up here but that's okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and film it and then embed the uh, what the tank looks like when I turn this on inside the video so you can see what it looks like. That's too cool. But, in order for this to work, you have to go to your local URL and go to configuration and go to module setup. And you want to pick your WXM. And make sure you update all your firmwares on everything, otherwise none of this stuff's going to work. You want to make sure that your Vortec, if you have a Vortec, and your Radeon show up down here that they're paired. Because see, at first my Radeon wasn't showing up, it wasn't actually paired. And if it's not paired, you can just say reset Radeons, and your light will go off, and it'll come back on. And then you can attach it, and then you should be able to go to your outputs. And see your Radeon over here. You may have to go in and delete your old one. You can do that from the actual Apex display little control. So that's that.